Salvation is my best gift ever You're the tree of life I was lost, now I am found Let's continue with the Hebrew alphabets The power of Hebrew Today, we are going to see Resh which is the 20th Hebrew alphabet. Remember, we have seen so far the following alphabets. Aleph, Bet, Gimo, Dalet, He, Vav, Zayn, Chet, Tet, Yod, Haf, Lamed, Mem, Nun, Samech, Ein, Pe, Tzadi, and Kof. Today, we are going to see Resh. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once again, Jamim Hebrew here. Today, we are going to continue with the Hebrew alphabets, the power of Hebrew, as we've been seeing for the past days. Let's see. Lesh is the 20th letter in the Hebrew alphabet, as I said, and it's written this way. Lesh. Lesh. Or... Sometimes written as Resh. In Hebrew, Resh 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 itself Yom and Shin Lesh has a value 200 and these numbers they are what we call gematria and we will count them when we start giving meaning to the words in Hebrew you will see yourself how powerful the Hebrew alphabets are when you combine them with the numbers Lesh means the head, leader, or the beginning. So, in the beginning, God created with wisdom. God used his wisdom to create the world and all things in it. So, in that way, God also gave us his wisdom through his word for us to understand him. So, without the word of God, we could not understand God. When it comes to our brain, we receive tons of information and our brain's duty is to process this information by focusing on priority and clarification. So our brain, in a way, sorts out this information and prioritizes the most important information for us to process. The way we think, the way we react to our emotions and so forth. Lesh means the wisdom of God. There is the beginning, Bereshit, Ber Re Bereshit. This means in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So Bereshit, this in red means house, bite, 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 bite means house. So 
Resh, Rosh, here in Brew means head. Head and house. So, which means that Christ is the head of God's household. Christ is the head of God's household. So, will you humble yourself to receive salvation? Will you? Again, will you humble yourself to receive salvation? Remember, we don't go to heaven because we like Christ. We go to heaven because we trust in Him. Thank you very much for watching. May God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Salvation is my best gift ever. You're the tree of life. I was lost, now I am found.